selfish desires, he chased after us. While we made excuses for our misguided choices, pursuing an elusive sense of fulfillment, he emptied himself to take the form of a servant. This unthinkable inequity, our Creator clothed in flesh and weakness for the sake of those clothed in iniquity. While we were lost and alone, He became a path for us. While we embraced the comfort of falsehood, He embraced us and showed us truth. While we were eclipsed in shadow, our spirits broken and dying, He became life and light to all. Our Shepherd, our Teacher, our Savior and King. And when it seemed the world had given up, He gave up everything. At just the right time, when we were powerless, He displayed His power and purpose. While we stood accused, He accepted the accusation. He endured humiliation and the untold suffering of crucifixion. For while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Not because we deserved it, far from it, but because there has never been a greater love than the love of Jesus. Today, if you feel hopeless, He gives hope unconditionally. If you've been rejected, He accepts you completely. If your burdens weigh heavy, lay your fears and failures at the foot of the cross, for His blood has erased them entirely. No longer a slave, but an heir of salvation, you are His child, His chosen. You are His beloved.
Biyaya ng Diyos ay sumaating lahat. Welcome po sa Holy Week Special ng Christ Church Ortigas. And today we will be talking about why Jesus, why. It's Black Saturday. And um, alam ko po na patuloy tayong uh, nagdiriwang sa Holy Week. Dahil sa Holy Week na ito, nagkaroon tayo ng pag-asa at ang ating buhay ay punong-puno ng kagalakan. Kahit na dumadaan tayo sa pandemic, I know, I know, na ang uh, pandemic ay uh, dadaan lang ito at alam natin na kasama natin ang Panginoong Jesus sa lahat ng mga bagay, sa lahat ng mga uh, pinagdadaanan natin at hindi niya tayo pababayaan. So, uh, we will be talking about why Jesus, why? Bakit nga ba nangyari kay Jesus? Bakit nga ba pinili niya yung generation na yon, yung time na yon? At uh, ito ay pinili niya upang sa ganon siya ay uh, makrucify. Bakit ang crucifixion ang kanyang pinili? At bakit ganito ang way ng Panginoon. So ito po ang mga pag-uusapan natin ngayon. But before anything else, let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this time. We know that you are with us, dear God. And we know, dear God, that this is a very special moment, dear God, for the life of all your children. Thank you so much, dear God, for your grace. We believe that you are with us, dear God. And today, dear God, help us to understand why. Why? do Jesus need to go through all those things on the cross so that we can have hope of eternity. Be with us today, dear God, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Why, Jesus, why? You know why? Um, it's a First Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18. Sabi dito, For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. So, pag-uusapan natin ito, alam natin na um, ang, ang bagay na ito ay napakahalaga. Subalit, hindi po kaya ng 30 minutes dahil marami pong pag uh, pwede dating uh, sanga-sanga po dito. Subalit, um, uh, sa kabila nun, uh, ang pag-uusapan natin ay yung tinatawag pa ng prophecy o yung hula. Ano yung sinasabi ng uh, biblical prophecy patungkol kay Jesus Christ? Alam nyo, ang kamatayan ni Jesus is prophesied in the Old Testament hundreds of years before He was crucified. When the Roman soldier took Jesus before Pilate, the disciples already had abandoned Jesus. That is why, uh, makikita natin yung sa Zechariah, so Zechariah chapter 13 verse 7, uh, sabi doon, God will strike the shepherd and his sheep will scatter. And in Isaiah chapter 53 verse 7 says, He was led like a, like a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep is silent before shearers, he never said a word. Imagine, eto, etong mga mga verses na nasa Old Testament, eto yung mga verses na na-fulfill nung namatay si Jesus. Nung dinakip si Jesus, nawala na lahat ang mga disciples. And so, doon pa lang maniniwala tayo na ang Panginoong Jesus, ang Panginoong Jesus, siya ang ating Diyos at tagapagligtas. You know why? If uh, those details did not happen, 
then we are actually looking forward for a Messiah. Yun ang nakakalungkot. So, balit marami sa prophecies, hundreds of years before Him, ah, prophecies, mga hula, nag-isulat ito sa Old Testament at nangyari nung panahon ni Jesus. Kaya rest assured na ang Jesus na pinaniniwalaan mo na siyang naipako sa krus, na siyang nailibing at nabuhay muli, siya ang Diyos at tagapagligtas. Amen ba doon? Amen. Kahit na sa Psalms, 100, uh, sa Psalms 22 verse 16, sabi doon, My enemies surround me like a pack of dogs. An evil gang closes in on me. They have pierced my hands and feet. Can you imagine? Napaka-detalya nito. <laughs> Para raw mga aso, yung mga kaaway niya. Nandun lahat yung mga kaaway niya. At ang sabi, ang, ang sabi niya is that, uh, Pinako ang aking kamay, ang aking mga kamay, at ang aking paa. You know what? The truth is that there is no, um, this is historical fact. Huh? Historical fact na ang totoo niyan, wala sa anumang history huh? ang, ang pinakapital punishment ay crucifixion. kung hindi nung time ng Roman Empire. Yes, merong mga mangilan-ngilan, pero ito yung time na kung saan ibabandera ka sa siyudad at ikaw ay papatayin sa pamamagitan sa pagpako sa krus. Kaya, alam natin na itong time na yun, ha, hindi yung time ngayon, kasi kung time ngayon, pako ka sa krus, ide-deliberate pa yan sa, ano, sa Congress. Kung may bas, batas na ganyan, eh walang batas. Ya? Pagkatapos nun, dadalin pa sa, ano, sa hukuman, di ba? At uh, mapapansin nyo, uh, pati yung, yung kanyang uh, uh, paglilitis kay Jesus ay kakaiba. Dahil nilitis si Jesus, hindi dahil sa kanyang ginawa. Nilitis si Jesus dahil kung sino ang, kung, si, kung ano yung inaangkin niyang sino siya. Siya ay Diyos. He was not, um, uh, uh, ano yun, sinampahan ng kaso. He was not actually judged according to what he had done, but according to who he is. It's so different, di ba? Maraming mga, mga pumupunta sa hukuman, nililitis dahil sa kanilang ginawa. Siya, nililitis dahil kung Sino yung kineclaim niya? Siya ay Diyos. This scripture was written by King David in approximately 900 BC. Itong uh, uh, Psalm uh, 22 verse 16. Crucifixion had not yet even been invented. Noong time na yun, 900 BC. Jesus was beaten with a, a lead tip whip and ripped his, uh, that ripped his flesh from his back. Isaiah 50 verse 6 says, I offered my back to those who beat me and my cheeks, to those who pulled out my bird. And I did not hide my face from mockering and spitting. This is in Psalm uh, 22, verse 14, and, uh, and, and chapter 50. Sabi, my life is poured of me like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My strength has dried up like sunday clay, my thong sticks to the roof of my mouth. In Psalm 69 verse 21b, they offer me sour wine for my thirst. If you look at it, these are prophecies. Malamang na sinusulat ito ng manunulat, uh, even David, hindi niya maintindihan. Bakit niya isusulat to? He wants to describe something and yet his description is exactly the, the prophecies that will happen in Jesus' time. And, and, and we need to understand without this prophecies, huh? hindi natin pwedeng i-validate. We cannot validate Jesus without the prophecies. Even the prophecies ng kapananganakan niya. Di ba? Inanganak si sa Bethlehem. May prophecy patungkol dyan. At yung prophecy na yon, alang naman sabihin ni Jesus, Teka muna, huwag ka muna, hindi muna ako lalabas, wala pa tayo sa Bethlehem. O sinabi siguro ni Mary, di ba? So, 
if you look at it, these are the details of the prophecies and we need to understand that Jesus, Jesus needs to, uh, to go through those hardships, those sacrifices. Not because of this prophecy, because this prophecy is already written, but because of His great love for us, for you and me. Upang sa ganun makita natin na ang Diyos na siyang lumikha dahil sa, sa, sa pag-ibig niya sa atin, siya ay nagkatawang tao upang ipakita niya kung paano nga ba tayo dapat magmahal, mabuhay, at kung paano natin titingnan ang isang Diyos at tagapagligtas na buong puso, sasambahin natin siya na walang alinlangan na buong puso at ibibigay natin ang ating buhay. Buhay upang sa ganun, tayo, ha? tayo, ay matawang niyang anak. You see, even what we what we learned, Psalm 69 verse 21, They offer me sour wine for my thirst. Imagine, alam ko nakita niyo yung kwento na yun, binigyan siya ng ano, vinegar. Or wine, di ba? The soldier offered Jesus wine mixed with gall rather than water for his thirst. Kasi na, alam nga naman, alam din ng soldier yun. Hindi niya alam yun. Pero na isulat yun. That is so amazing. This is amazing, amazing facts about the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. These are hard evidences. Not just something that we that we say, oh, okay, he's God. Kasi sinabi ng nanay ko, sinabi ng, ng, ano, ng pastor, sinabi na, no, these are hard evidences. You need to understand, whenever we approach this kind of scenario, we don't rely on scientific basis. We are relying on historical, legal facts. Di ba? Para mong sasabihin na, ah, si, si, ano, si... Uh, Magellan tsaka si Lapu-Lapu ay naglaban. Naglaban sila sa Mactan. Tanong, ha? kaya ba ng scientific um, uh, experiment na patunayan na si Lapu-Lapu at si Magellan ay naglaban sa Mactan? Tell me. No? Hindi. But the historical, legal Facts. What do I mean? You need, actually, it's like in a courtroom. Kung kayo mahilig sa courtroom drama, o kaya kayo ay nakapasok na sa korte, <laughs> ang judge, ha, titignan niya lang, tatlong bagay. Una, kayo yung eyewitnesses. Back up with written statement. Ha? Magkasama na yun, kahit yung collaborative witnesses. Kasama na yun. And after that, he or she will look for evidences. And these things are hard evidence. Di ba? Isinulat na kung saan nangyari. At nangyari dahil alam natin na siya ang gumawa ng lahat. In Psalm 22 verse 7, and eight. Everyone who sees me mocks me. They sneer and shake their heads, saying, Is this the one who relies on God? Then let the Lord save him. Mm, sounds familiar. Huh? Sounds familiar. Remember, nakapako si Jesus Christ sa cross? Jesus could have come down on the cross at the any time and had myriads of angels at his disposal. But instead, he said, Father, I'm sorry, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they do. Hmm. It's something that we need to, to understand, di ba? Kung ikaw, nawawalan ka na ng pananampalataya sa Panginoon, lalong-lalo sa Panginoong Jesus, tandaan mo ito. Tandaan mo ito. Life is not about you. Life is about Jesus Christ. And I am telling you this uh, um, connection between the Old Testament and the New Testament. 
That it is written, the, the whole Old Testament was written for Jesus. Meron ako nakita one time sa sa Facebook. Sinasabi niya eh, hindi mo daw binensyon ang si Jesus Christ sa buong ano, Old Testament. Of course! But the prophecies involved in the Old Testament uh, is the prophecies that happen during Jesus' time. Hindi naman nasabihin lahat doon, di ba? Kung sinabi na lahat doon, wala nang impact. Ang mahirap dito, hindi nga sinabi lahat doon, kahit na Ala, kahit nga yung mga ano eh. I, I understand all the, the people who are uh, uh, skeptics about these things. Because the truth is that even the one who says that there will be a Messiah, yung mga, mga Jewish nation, hanggang ngayon, naghihintay pa rin sila. Even, even uh, they, 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 they knew about these prophecies. And since they knew about these prophecies, how come that they they didn't even bother to to look at it? They even in, in, throughout history, the the church history, alam natin na marami sa kanila pilit na sinisira, pilit na pinapapatay, pilit na sinusunog lahat ng mga katuruan patungkol kay Jesus. Bakit kaya? Why? The question is why? Because I truly believe that. That what they're doing, huh? what they're doing, ay sagot doon sa sinasabi na maybe it's right because it's right. Totoo kasi. And those people who actually pursue Christianity and became disciples of Jesus Christ died because of their faith. And because of that, we know that the whole Bible is the truth. The question is, who wants to die for a lie? Wala! But because we know that this connected to, from Old Testament to New Testament, we believe that Jesus Christ is authentic, the Son of God. He is God incarnate. He is our Lord and He is our Savior. Psalm 109 verse 4 states, I love them, but they try to destroy me with accusation even as I am praying for them. Wow. Imagine this. These are the people who was with Jesus Christ. Diba? Sila yung, sila yung, ano, yung nagsabi ng, nung pumasok si Jesus si Jerusalem. Uh, the king. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna to the King of Kings. And then, on Friday, sabi nila, crucify him. Psalm 22 verse 18. They divide, oh, they divide my garments among themselves and throw dice for my clothing. Alangan naman yung mga, mga sundalo. Akin na yung ano, kasi nakasulat to eh. Nakasulat to. Nakasulat dun sa ano, sa, sa Psalm. Tara, tayong mag, ano, mag-divide ng garment niya. Tapos, maglaro tayo. Kasi nakasulat tayo. No! <laughs> Ang galing naman nun, di ba? Kahit yung mga romans, kabisado yung Old Testament. Look at this. They divide my garments among themselves and throw dice for my clothing. And these are true evidences. Evidences. And if we look at it, it exactly what happened during the time Jesus was nailed on the cross. Amen. Amen. Siguro habang binabanggit natin ang mga bagay nito, I, 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 I want you to be encouraged right now. To keep the faith, to fight for the faith that you have. Ipaglaban natin ang ating pananampalataya dahil alam natin na ito ay totoo. Ito ang wasto. It was thought that the soldiers were playing a dice. A game for Jesus' clothes called King for a Day. Jesus was crucified between two thieves. Isaiah 53 verse 12. He was counted among rebels. 
he bore the sins of many and interceded for rebels. Ooh. Darkness covered the, er the area when Jesus died. In Amos chapter 8 verse 9. In that day, says the sovereign Lord, I will make the sun go down at noon and darken the earth while it is still day. Nangyari lahat ito. These are the things that we cannot deny. If we deny all these uh, prophecies, we are denying Christ. We are denying that He is the, our true Lord and Savior. You see, the darkness that covered the, the area reached to Greece and lasted from noon until 3 p.m. Nangyari ito. Hindi lang, hindi lang ito nangyari sa, sa, sa Jerusalem. Nangyari ito hanggang Greece. My goodness. This is so unprecedented. The whole Mediterranean region ay na-cover. Kaya nga hindi nila ma, hindi nila ma, ma, ma deny dahil nung time maraming na isulat patungkol dito at nag-collaborate lahat ng isinulat nila at nangyari nga lahat ito. Not only the four gospels uh, knew this but also throughout the historical um, references that we have right now ay nagsasabi na meron nga nito. Hmm. Di ba? So, whatever it is that you are doubting about on the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, you are actually wrong because of the fact that these are products of prophecies. Prophecy! Wala nang iba. If this is a product of prophecy happened hundreds of years before Jesus Christ, then it must be true. And Jesus Christ is God, the Lord, Savior. Actually, I, we can say that. Alam mo na ang, ang, ang nakakalungkot sa generation ngayon. Offensive ang pangalan ni Jesus Christ. Why? Pag sinabi mong God bless you, okay lang yan. God bless you. Pero pag sinabi mong Jesus Christ, bless you. Oh, that becomes offensive. Very offensive. Even before it was offensive. You know why? Because He is the only one who claimed that He is God. And He is really God. That's why it's so offensive. You know why? Because of our rebellious heart. Ayaw natin na may mas mataas sa atin. Ayaw natin na mayroong mas magaling sa atin, di ba? Pansinin mo yung mga driver. Kapag ka mayroong sumisingit sa kanila, ayaw nila yun. Ayaw yung ipanggit-gitan yan. These are, these are our spirit, a rebellious spirit, a rebellious heart. That is why we cannot uh, accept the fact that this Jesus Christ of Nazareth, ha, uh, Etong si, si, si Jesus Christ ay Diyos at tagapagligtas. Hindi pwede sa kanila yon Dahil nga yung puso natin. Subalit kung titignan mo at uunawain mo ang lahat ng hula at propesya patungkol sa kanya at nangyari nga ito, tandaan natin, siya ang Diyos at tagapagligtas. Wala nang iba. I am so sure about it. I am so sure. In Psalm 22, verse 1. By God, by God, why have you abandoned me? This is not, this is not the author of this. The author of this is in the book of Psalms. And yet, huh? the book of Psalms is written by David. David cried out this verse 900 years earlier and Jesus quoted the same scripture while hanging on the cross, carrying our burden of sin. Kung ikaw, wala kang kasalanan, you were nailed on the cross because of what who you claim to be. Huh? Palagay ko, nagiisigaw ka na, nagmumura ka na, pinagmumura mo na lahat ng tao kasi alam mo, mamamatay ka na eh. But Jesus Christ is different. Sabi niya, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? It's the 
first time that Jesus Christ called his father, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Because it's the time that the the way of the world, the sins of the world was placed upon his shoulder and he cannot bear it. Napakabigat ang kanyang ang pinasan sa kanya. And yet, he overcame. Amen. Actually, nung, nung nangyari ito, at sabi niya, it is finished, tapos na, nabayaran na lahat ng kasalanan mo at kasalanan ko, dahil doon, buhay pa siya. Aba, teka muna, buhay pa si Jesus. Sobra yung pinambayad natin. <laughs> Sabihin mo sa kahaway, so, sobra yung pinambayad sa'yo ni Jesus Christ. Teka muna, pinambayad, ang pinambayad sa'yo, ang dugo, ang buhay ni Jesus. Kaya hindi ako dapat ngayon mahirap. Dapat suklian mo pa nga kami, di ba? Dahil ako ay anak ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ni Kristo Jesus. Dapat suklian mo ako. Dapat hindi ka naghihirap din, di ba? At isipin natin ito. Ang pinambayad ni, ng, ni Jesus, ang pinambayad sa ating kasalanan ay higit. Sobra-sobra. Dapat may sukli. Imagine that. Now, in Psalm 31, verse 15, I entrust my spirit into your hand. What? <laughs> Sinabi rin ni Jesus Christ yan. Father, Into thy hands I command my spirit. The Roman soldier usually broke the legs of the person being crucified. But when they came to do so to Jesus, he was already dead. In Psalm 34 verse 20, For the Lord protects the bones of the righteous. Not one of them is broken. Wow. You see, The way of the cross is the only way for uh, for us to be free from our sins. Dapat ikaw at ako ang nakapako sa krus dahil sa kasalanan natin. But because of His great love for us, we are now free. We are more than conquerors, sabi ni Paul. Kaya nga kung titingnan natin ang, ang buhay natin ngayon, ay dapat na kay Jesus. For whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Paano naman yung hindi naniwala, Pastor? Then, I am so sorry. But the only way for Him, for the Father, to the Father, is through Him. The only way for salvation is through Jesus Christ. Just like Paul said in Romans 6.34, the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. It's a gift. A gift of eternal life is only through Jesus Christ. Why? Because if you believe that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, you will become son of God, daughters of God. And if you become that a child of God, therefore you have that status being a child of God. And since you are a child of God, God cannot deny you. It's like the love of the father to his son. It's like the love of the parents to his son. Naglolo ko man yan. Tandaan mo. Ha? Naglolo ko man ang anak mo. Hindi mo kayang tiisip. Hindi ko lang alam sa ibang mga magulang pero hindi kayang tiisip. Hindi sa tinitiis. Ayun. Maagad na mamatay. <laughs> Dahil sa sobrang kalungkutan. Pero tingnan natin. Kung pa- paano natin paniniwalaan ang Diyos at nagpagligtas na ito na si Jesus. After Jesus was taken down from the cross, Joseph of Arimathea came to claim his body. Joseph was a secret uh, follower of Jesus and gave him his tomb, his borrowed tomb. And in Isaiah chapter 53, verse 9, he was put in a rich man's grave. Oh, di ba? 
in Psalm 16 verse 10, For you will not leave my soul among the dead or allow your Holy One to rot in the grave. Amen. Hallelujah. Because in Isaiah chapter 26, verse 19, But those who die in the Lord will live. Their bodies will rise again. He is risen. Praise Him. Amen. Today it's the Holy Black Saturday. Hindi patay ang Dios. He is risen. And that's why we have this celebration at hand. We have this celebration. And we know and we believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And what happened on the cross, even before the cross and after the cross, it was prophesied and these prophecies stood a very solid prophecies and you cannot deny, no one can deny these prophecies. Except the people who wants to deny Christ as their Lord and Savior. And so if you ask why Jesus, why? The truth is that because of his great love, that is why. Because he wants us to be reconciled to the Father. And whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.